In the last two videos, I returned to Dinosaur National Monument for my first ever solo overland trip. And I did it all myself. From van prep, to navigation, driving, and camping. Carlos and I are two days in, and we've had a super fun drive, camped alone in the wild, took in some history, and seen some of the most spectacular and surprising Colorado landscapes. Join us for our last day of cool dino stuff and one more night of camping. Our two day drive through Split Mountain and Cub Canyon is over. So that is what I drove through. At the end of the overland route on the Colorado side, your bonus reward is the fossil monument at the quarry. It is an hour's drive on pavement just over the Utah border in Jensen, where over 1,500 dinosaur bones are still embedded in the cliffside. All right, I made it to the quarry museum uh, with 40 minutes to spare. So they close in 40 minutes. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough for you guys. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Probably won't be half as cool on camera, so you're just gonna have to come yourself. So basically, they cut into the side of one of these hills and then built this big glass enclosure around what they uncovered. This section of exposed quarry face is 150 feet long by 45 feet high, where over 1,500 fossils have been carefully revealed in place. Paleontologists discovered the bones just as you see them here, just as nature arranged them more than 150 million years ago. This area was once a lush river floodplain, a stream coursing through a lowland area. But sometimes, drought causes streams to dry up. And as you'd expect, a variety of dinosaurs gathered around shrinking pools of water and eventually died in place. When the river flowed again, sand and gravel entombed what was left. Numerous droughts and flash floods deposited the bones at a river bend, layering vast quantities and varieties of dinosaur bones in one place. All right, it's closing on 6 p.m. And Carlos and I are taking this road that goes out into BLM land. I think I'm in Utah. I don't think I've crossed over into Colorado yet. So I'm somewhere in Utah but really, really close to the Colorado border. And we're just gonna pick a spot out here to free camp, wild camp. It's pretty. The window's not open, but... Uh, yeah, so we will um, pick you guys up when we find a camp spot. Well, this is looking promising. <clears throat> See what we've got here. Mm. A couple of offshoots. Let's go home this way. This is a pretty all right spot. Let's see what this is all about. Carlos, I think this will do. Well, this is lovely. We drove around for a while, but I was just like, everywhere I found was kind of tucked into some rocks or hills and I don't like when people or animals can sneak up on us. So I climbed this <laughs> steep little hill. I would put it in four low like a champ. And now we're up on this great bluff. The view is a-okay. And let's see the, the hill. <laughs> it's pretty legit. We did it, Carlos. All right, this is our home for the night. Um, I can't get over our score. Good job, buddy. Were you holding it? I'm sorry. Time for dinner, for both of us. You hungry, buddy? Look at you all wolfy with your bear, bear bell on. This is the only bad thing about letting Carlos swim. 
Oh my god. You should see his bed. It's even worse. I have some cleaning to do. Oh, better. All right, we are set for the night. Both had dinner. Carlos is playing with his ball. A little, I don't even, I don't know where that went. Hey, where's your ball? Where's your ball? Let's go get it, don't lose it. Where's your ball? Go get it. I think, <laughs> a tripod. I'm, I'm catching some serious um, Uncle Rico vibes right now. <laughs> here, wait, let me see if I can get all of this in here. Make sure I'm not in an ant pile. All right, we got the van, <laughs> the tripod. Oh no. Uncle Rico. He's gonna set that up a little differently. It'll be an exact match. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's, it's really awesome. <laughs> Playing with his ball in the only little patch of shade that exists out here from the van. Does not like the sun. Yeah, you get it. You're a dork. Oh, we are in for the night. Both had our dinner. Carlos is playing with his ball. Good night. Someone finally is tired. Please. Yeah, was your breakfast good? Time to go run around. Let's go run around. Break. Beautiful morning. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Let's go potty, come on. What a beautiful morning. Oh geez. Good morning. We're getting ready. We're loaded up. We did our once over. It took us 45 minutes to find Carlos's ball because he keeps hiding it and then he forgets where he puts it. But yeah, last day. Actually heading home, uh, maybe three hours from home right now. We're gonna say goodbye to our glorious campsite. Now we have to go down that crazy hill we came up and work our way home. See if we can find our way out of here. I think I remember where I went. Otherwise, we'll just try and map it, but I think we're, I think we're good. Where's that fire pit? All right, um, let's do this. Uh, my biggest challenge getting out of here is that hill. Oh my God. <laughs> <gasps> Downhills are not cool. <laughs> All right, we're good, we're good. I geared down to four low and put it into first gear. Look at that, no problem. What was I even nervous about? It probably doesn't look steep at all, but it is. I should have set up the camera. I was too nervous. <laughs> That was my hill, and it doesn't look big at all. <sighs> Never does. I wanted everyone to be really impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Ah, that was my campsite. <laughs> that was a great find. Yeah, that was awesome. And I'm so glad I did it. All right, now I gotta pull over and do the tires air up, which I don't wanna do. I have like a weird car battery phobia. <laughs> But I'll do it. I'll do it. I have to do it. <laughs>
Moment of truth. Oh. Gotta do the air up. <laughs> I do. I really don't want to do this. I got that all hooked up. I got that all hooked up. And then we have this nastiness. I did it. Now I just gotta wait. Only on my second tire and I've already had three cowboy trucks pull over to ask if I need help. I still appreciate a good chivalrous act. So, good job guys. All right, good to go. I did it. Um, I'm at pavement of about three hours. She's the least. About three hours from home. And all in all, seven cowboy trucks stopped to help me see if I was okay. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, it was successful. I'm so glad I did it. It was challenging, but not too challenging to where it would turn me off to do it again. Um, I felt pretty safe the whole time. And yeah, I, lo I loved it. I love the challenge of having to do all this stuff by myself. Although I do prefer doing it with Brian. Don't get me wrong. At least now I know that I can go out and do something by myself. So yeah. Um, thanks for joining. It was fun. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Nice way to wake up. Yeah, it's time to go outside. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Adventure is calling.